Well, it has been quite a year for new Tigers bench coach George Lombard. Professionally, he made it to the pinnacle of his sport, winning a World Series as a first base coach with the Dodgers. Personally, he's on a journey to learn more about his mom. Jamie Edmonds joins us live with more on this story. Jamie. Good evening, Devin. You know, last season when the pandemic forced then Dodgers first base coach George Lombard to stay away from the ballpark, stop doing what he loves, it turned out to be a gift because it gave him more time to research his mom, Posey Lombard. I realized how, how big a hero that she was and, and her story is so unique um, because she was white. Posey Lombard grew up in Massachusetts, a daughter of a Harvard dean. She was in her senior year at Smith College in 1965 when she was so moved by what happened on Bloody Sunday at the Edmund Pettus Bridge, she traveled to Selma, Alabama to protest. She was arrested, but not deterred. Posey stayed in the South to peacefully protest. More arrests followed. Being a difference maker, being a difference maker, and you think of you know Jackie Robinson and Martin Luther King. Posey died in a car accident when George was only 10. Throughout his life, he knew about his mother's advocacy, but it wasn't until George Floyd's death and the protests of social injustice last summer that he dug deeper and something inside of him stirred. Here we are, you know, we're over 50 years later and we're still fighting this fa same yeah. fight, which is, is a, a bit embarrassing, but also uh, we all need to wake up and, and understand what's happening. Posey's fight is now her son's fight, and the more he learns about how she stood up for equality, the more he's inspired to use his platform as a Major League Baseball coach to affect change. His mom would be so proud. We all have this opportunity to go out there and help others and and uh, and, and and especially in search of equality and, and all the injustices that are going on. Um, but we can make a difference every day. And you know, he says his mom is a hero. So as we celebrate Martin Luther King today, he says he's proud that she was a part of that same movement and he plans to carry on the torch. We're live tonight. Jamie Edmonds, Local 4. Yeah, that's really great stuff. All right, Jamie.